your like juicy star of seven meant to do a video of hers what would you do what would you be your first reaction i'd scream and i'd cry and i'd jump up and down and i'd probably break my leg jumping up and down because that's a lot of it strenuous effort for me someone like me but i i'd freak out i'd flip a shit can i say that Will you be doing any more Dr. Megan videos? I loved them. Thank you so much for loving them. Like I said at the beginning of the last one, I don't feel comfortable doing a Dr. Megan video unless it's on a topic I've personally experienced or know a lot about. So you guys leave me a lot of requests, then there'll probably be some that I actually can talk about. How do you balance out school, friends, boys? How do you set your focus? How do you focus or set your priorities straight? Um, I've never ever really been a boy crazy girl. I think in middle school I was pretty into boys, but aside from that, I've never really had them be a huge priority in my life just because most of the time boys are immature and stupid. No offense. No offense. I've always really been really driven in my schoolwork. I've really always known what I wanted to do as a career and I've known what I needed to do to get that done. So I would say just give yourself time for everything. Know that school comes in priority before anything. I think schoolwork should be the first priority all the time. Um, but aside from that then just figure out and just section away time for other things. I was freshman year of high school. Um, freshman year of high school was not that great for me. Uh, the academics were pretty easy. Um, and it wasn't like the social stuff was hard. Is that I just feel like I was still in that middle school phase. If you guys know what I'm talking about. The whole middle school phase of like, Abercrombie, MySpace, I am too cool for everybody. The freshman and sophomore year, times in my life that I just wasn't really a happy person. But I think everyone needs to go through low points in their life. Otherwise, the high points don't really mean anything. What's your favorite drink? Uh, tea. <laughs> favorite gum. My favorite gum is like this dried flavor changing gum. I think it's delicious. If you could be any celebrity, who would you be? I'd just like to live their life for a day. I think it'd be fun to live um, one of the Kardashians' lives. Or Justin Bieber. <gasps> if you could get a tattoo, what would it be? Um, despite the controversy on this, I actually really do want a tattoo eventually. Not like within the next like six months or anything. I don't really concretely decide if I'm going to get a tattoo, but I definitely do want one if the, um, if I'm just like striked with a quote or an image or something, for me it would really have to mean something. Would you rather lick a hobo's foot or drink spoiled milk, eggs, bacon, and onion sticks together? I'd rather lick a hobo's foot. I know that sounds less sanitary and it probably is and it'll probably just taste like pee, but like, I hate the smell of spoiled milk. That sounds disgusting. Do you have any regrets in life? Um, I know this sounds really stupid and like, oh my gosh, so profound. But I really do think everything in life makes you stronger. I think I've dealt with the things I've had to, not for a reason or because it was like doomed that I had to deal with those things, just because it made me a stronger person and it made me a better person. There's tons of like little things I regret, but in the end, I think everything fell into place in my life. Do you love your boyfriend? I do love my boyfriend. Yeah. Ah, this is a little personal. <laughs> what are your everyday makeup look? Like three eyeshadows. Well, the three eyeshadows I wear pretty much on a daily basis or like my go-to look is Naked Lunch, Rice Paper, and Woodwinked. How did you meet your boyfriend? I live in a pretty small little community. Um, everyone knows each other. Even if you don't go to the same schools, everyone knows each other. And we went to the same middle school actually and we dated in seventh grade. Isn't that weird? I think that's kind of weird. What's your favorite thing to do with your friends? Do you go to certain places to hang out? Uh, <laughs> me and my best friends are literally the most lazy, boring people in the entire world. Though I'm not bored by any of the things we do. We'll go to one of each other's houses, we'll rent, we'll rent movies and get takeout. We eat a lot. Okay, so that was the personal section, segment of this. And I'll be back to answer all of your beauty questions. So yeah. What is this little piece of hair doing? Has this been here the whole time? Oh my lanta.